time we start the demonstration, because we with high power voltage here, and the voltage that we're dealing with here is going to be very comparable to what you will encounter out there. We have to do some quick precautions and protecting on the truck. So before we do anything at all, we need to, I need to energize this truck and everything to test to make sure that we have no bleed over. Ready? And then the next thing we're going to do is they're actually going to test this truck to see what type of primary voltage that you do encounter out there.
we hear about it all too often, and, and here too with, with the media presence, you know, your budgets that you use for your satellite dishes that you raise up from your bands and one place or another, you do not have to make direct contact with an energized conductor for it to make contact. You know, there is such thing as indirect contact. If it energized one thing, which energizes something else, which may energize another object, and then somebody goes over and touches it. Well, let's see what happens here when this antenna makes contact with an energized conductor. Now look at the bottom. Because here again, this is what most people are dealing with when they've got their hands on. And another thing I want you to notice right there is how long that arc was. You know, 18 inches to 2 feet before it ever actually broke. Now, I didn't break that arc, they broke it themselves. But that just shows you the distance, you know, that it, that it can and it has the capability of traveling through, through the air. Now, down power lines, you know, you can't see electricity, you can't smell electricity. And just because a line is laying on the ground does not mean that that line is being energized. It has to be able to pick up enough ground fault to be able to pick the circuit out. And if it doesn't pick up that ground fault, then it's going to lay there and it will lay there on that ground to energize. Ice, snow, bushes itself could act as a form of an insulator and not allow that conductor to pick up enough fault current. Here again, if you see a power line laying on the ground, the very best thing you can do is stay away from it. Don't get anywhere near it. Look what can happen here. 